Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Anupama Bora, and I'm really glad that you guys are watching me today. So let's start with this video. Please keep watching this video till the end. How to choose a research topic? I feel that the first criteria that how you should choose a research field is that number one you should need to know your area of interest i like to give you an example of how i choose my phd topic so it was such that i am from northeast actually i am from assam so i uh, we know that northeastern states are uh, have a large potential it, it, it includes a lot of natural resources with which you can experiment as such i took one of the agricultural uh, fruit uh, which could be utilized for further further enhancement and also it can add value to the scientific community you can gain uh, knowledge as well as you can also give back to the society by creating some valuable product using that natural resources i utilize banana peel for production of nanoparticles and that nanoparticles i used it for preparation of polystyrene nanocomposites nanocomposites are made up of thermocol which are basically a waste thermocols which are uh, used for um, mainly what we say uh, like uh, it is used for storage purpose or insulation purposes thermocols are mainly most of the part goes into the landfill and they add to the pollution so my work was mainly focused on environmental control as well as utilization of the natural resources being that in mind so i designed my area of research in the next point is that what are your expertise identify so what are your expertise whether you have learned certain techniques in your bachelor's in your masters and whether you did certain training courses or you have a certain kind of summer training or some uh, programming languages or uh, some uh, software which you can utilize mostly in your research so you need to identify your expertise okay. so what your supervisor wants you to do okay this is also a really important factor yeah. discuss your interest with your supervisor sometime what happens we might think okay this area is very interesting but uh, like sometime working on that you would understand this area is interesting but it's very difficult to follow what happens your supervisor might not have a full understanding of the topic or that area and he won't be able to guide you in a proper way you need to have a proper uh, conversation with your supervisor so that you can be able to do your work with full conviction you would do a really quality research hopefully is that the techniques or the protocol which you will be using in your research work you need to study articles you need to find out whether this that kind of work would be possible in your lab or you don't have that kind of access or in which lab you would find that kind of a pro protocol or that some certain kind of very costly instrument you might need so these are the things which you need to take care uh, before choosing any research topic so uh, firstly to know the research interest of yours secondly uh, like you need to know your expertise what you are good at thirdly Uh, what your supervisor is thinking about your topic or whether he has already thought about any area of work he wants to assign you you also need to consider that thing and then yeah like the techniques or the protocols you need to learn beforehand doing or designing your project so these are the factors in how you can choose your research topic Uh, like while thinking about a research topic what comes in your mind any topic which excites you or you want to know more you have a curiosity on the topic choosing a research topic firstly comes out from curiosity to learn about uh, like a very uh, upcoming field of science of technology you want to learn upon some machine one topic we can take like quantum dots so what is quantum dot you need to know about that first of all and like what kind of research is going on on quantum dots you need to read you need to search the article in build your base upon that and then you can think about whether you will be able to work on that or not and discuss with the supervisor and before starting your work you have to be very sure I cannot say that like, uh, like research or science is anything about surety but it is just about a thought which develops and then you are like uh, developing some certain kind of protocols and then you get a result 
so you also need to understand that that sometimes it may, you might be a failure in some certain area or or a certain uh, experiments but it doesn't mean that you don't know anything or like you are imposter it's nothing like that because uh, i as a phd student i have faced that part in my phd and i really understand like it's very draining to uh, really feel disappointed that when your work doesn't like your experiment doesn't go well and you don't get a very good results so you have to be very prepared on that okay sometime what happens how you think you are going to work might not work out but also you might twist like you need to understand that research can be done in any way think about a different perspective from your original topic okay i have working on quantum dots and let me think what else i can work on with this whatever i have found in my first stage what else i can do with this if i am not getting a desired result in another area so you do in in certain way that that uh, that results can be presentable can be presentable and you can be very excited about it to show it to others your colleagues or in a conference you can uh, present your work and also uh, like be sure that you know everything what you're doing so this is it what i wanted to add along with the main criteria for choosing your research topic so i hope so my lecture or whatever you think it is very helpful for you and if you have any questions regarding my topic or what you want to watch next time please let me know and comment below in this video and thank you so much for watching today's video See you next time with another video. Bye bye guys.